with a traditional sense of home, people often think of that as parents and parents that love them and support them in a place where they can go and be safe. And most, if not all of our clients have been abused and neglected um, and many don't even have a home. One girl I know, her earliest memory was sleeping under the bridge with her mom. She has told me that that's her closest sense of home. Home is a place where I have community, where I'm accepted, where I'm loved as I am. And I think that's what the youth that come to Cup of Quarter have the opportunity to experience. We just want to be that for them, be the family that they may be lacking. I don't know, like home for me, growing up was a tampered word because I like grew up in a lot of dysfunction. I don't think people really see it like this, but many of the youth that are in here, they're just like our own kids. They are, in many ways, I would say, the orphans of our society. And they just need family to love them. Come on in, guys. Once they're able to have trusting relationships that they can count on, it's amazing what they can accomplish. Me and my boyfriend were out sleeping by the library for like three months straight. Every day we were here as soon as it opened and like because there was just like nowhere else for us to go inside except for the library but the library they don't like let you take a shower like there's none of that at the library. The definition to cup to me is like they have a greater sense of community. Every day there's just a safe spot to go to and get some food, water, clothes, socks, take a shower. Home for me is Spokane. Like a cup of cool water like saved me, you know, even when I was already, you know, been you know, already drowned at that point. I mean this is honestly out of any church place, cup of cool water, is where I have seen the truest Christianity out of anywhere I've been, of true Christianity to be truly, unconditionally loving no matter what. Father, we thank you for the evening ahead of us. We thank you for the young people lined up outside right now. We thank you for the abundance of volunteers tonight and the food and just an answer to prayer. Thank you for the time ahead of us. We pray these things in your son's holy name. Amen. Amen. All right. Oh, hey. How's it going? I'm Bubba Rolls, one of the clients here at Cup of Cool Water. My time here has actually been pretty fun. Uh, I'm going to give you a rundown of what Cup of Cool Water is. Um, over here, we have the common area where we usually, you know, have lunch. Um, Play games, uh, card games, board games, whatever. Everyone can bring in their uh, clothes to wash, uh, you know, get haircuts, stuff like that. Two washers and two dryers each. That way it saves time. What else? We got a computer lab, so if people want to surf the web, uh, play a game, check the Facebook, they can do that. Uh, we have a shower, so if people want to take showers, they can do that as well. Gotta stay clean. Uh, here's the chapel, so if people want to take like a self timeout. Um, take a nap in there as well, they can do that. Um, over here we have the uh, clothing room so people can like sign up for the clothing closet. Uh, they can grab shorts, shirts, whatever they need for you know clothing. Um, back here we have the men's bathroom and we have a food bank. We here at Cup, we try and help out uh, homeless youth because it's hard out there with these days. What COP offers is food, clothing, and a safe environment for people to just hang out. They've helped me out so much. I don't know where I would be without Cup of Cool Water. I mean, it's like a second home to me. They've always been able to talk to me, been able to open my eyes. What home means to me is a place that I can feel safe and secure and not be afraid. Anybody want to pray for the meal tonight? All right, go ahead. Thank you, dear Heavenly Father, for this food that we're about to receive. Lord Jesus, amen. 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 Thanks, Taylor. Oh, All right. Hallelujah. I think what we really need 
in terms of support. We need committed members of the community that can just support us on a monthly basis. A little bit goes a long ways, especially when a community of believers is behind it. Yes. Did you want any barbecue sauce or anything else? I think if believers in this community came down and saw the need and met these young people and had a conversation with them, they would see how important this work is. And that's one of the hard parts is that many of the youth here are not seen. They're not the ones you're seeing on the corner with the signs. They're not the ones that you um, are, are passing by on the streets. They're the ones that are couch surfing from place to place. They may be camping along the river. How old are you? Uh, 16. 16? Okay, right on. And what about you, James? 18. When someone can experience love here, the relationship can be enough for them to, when that moment comes, and they're like, okay, now I do want to get clean. When they think, okay, well, who can help me get clean? A cup of cool water comes to mind. Or, okay, I'm ready to not be homeless anymore. I don't know how to do that, okay? So I think that's a, where a lot of the transformation happens and a sense of home that's built. We, we know that God's gonna to continue to provide for us as a ministry, but there are a lot of needs that we haven't yet been able to address. We have a mentoring program that we'd like to expand into job training. We have this great drop-in facility that has the potential for even providing overnight shelter if we had the funding to accommodate that. Um, so there are a lot of needs and a lot of ways that we'd like to grow the organization to better serve youth in our city. But um, we're, we're reliant on our donors to really make that happen. They're a part of this just as much as we are. Yeah. Have a good night. Take care. Uh.